Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q. <laughs> I am here and had a, had a fantastic day today. And I can imagine that you did too because it feels juicy from here. <laughs> I met so many people today and had so many great connections that just would like to share some of my lessons from the day. <laughs> Okay, so this is about the power of the seas. Now, this is not about the ocean. It's about the letter C. C like cute. C like cuddly. C like cuckoo pichu. I don't even know if that starts with a C. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is about the power of the seas. So I've had a very, very busy day. And I just was really kind of like thinking, it would be kind of cool to, to share some of these things that came up. So... Anyway, so my first one is number one. I have three powers of the letter C. <laughs> first one is courage. So this morning I attended a really neat uh, event where I got to meet a lot of new people. And, you know, I'm pretty cool with going into any kind of a setting and feeling pretty comfortable, but it still takes some courage, you know, to go, can I go to this new place? And everywhere I go is new and I'll, I have my GPS on my phone. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I just GPS, but there takes some courage when you are, you know, stepping into some power and you know, doing some things that are different. And so what I like about this is, is that you know, there were so many people there and then I went to two events and they were super powerful and really kind of um, yummy and that everybody shows up with courage, you know, that everybody's showing up, just showing up in their best way. And what I really loved about it too, was that even in that space of courage, that there was some vulnerability and some really unique sharing from the heart. And so that felt really good for my first power C of courage. I got to look at my notes. Okay, so my next one, number two, is connecting. <laughs> so when we move from that place of courage and then we go into connecting, then what, what I find is that when, when I meet new people is to just notice if I'm being distracted anyway when another person is sharing their truth and then just feeling into my own self and going, wow, really feeling into some of the things that they're sharing. And so it, and I have to kind of set aside some things that may be on my mind or, you know, some distractions that are in the space, but really noticing how deeply that we all connect with each other. And then also noticing the times when we're not really connecting, when we feel a little bit um, distracted or, you know, just not really fully connecting. And I think that that moving from courage to connecting is really awesome because when we take the time, we really settle into our truth and from that open hearted space and really feeling what it's like for another person to share what they're sharing. That's beautiful. And as a yoga teacher, meditation teacher, I've always been about holding sacred space, but I too sometimes tumble or fumble or a little bit with that with being maybe distracted but I really like the connections today at these events that I went and that felt really really intimate and really lovely I felt really included in these groups and my third C is oh okay so moving from courage to connecting and going now into curious so as we move through these power C's is we um, have an opportunity to, when we meet new people and have new experiences and have all this fun sharing and a lot of the sharing I do, I have to admit it, I'm a little wackadoodle. I can be kind of serious, but I'm also super fun and playful. <laughs> So as I talk about the work I do, that's kind of more serious, but then I can just tumble back into crazy, fun, silly laughter. <laughs> but what's curious for me is that um, I'm always curious when I meet people, will I see them again? And will there be maybe more connection there? Will we develop um, more times of sharing and, you know, curious what will happen next uh, with the relationships that are beginning to build. And, you know, that curiosity just turns into more of an internal 
question, just kind of asking myself, you know, from my space of curiosity, what do I desire to create when I meet new people? What am I looking at as far as um, connecting in more deeply with people and sharing who I am too? So even the serious, the uh, work that I do um, as an empowerment catalyst and Akasha creator is sometimes kind of serious. <laughs> And it is. <laughs> but I'm always curious how I can move from one um, kind of feeling tone to the next. And like yoga, that's like bhavana. What is my bhavana? Where is it tuning in at? So I'm always kind of curious, like what's next? And and I'll, sometimes I'm a little bit curious what how people perceive. I think we're always kind of wondering, like, you know, I'm sharing. And um, how are people perceiving me? So that's like kind of like a mirror onto a mirror. And so just, I really enjoy today, and I really enjoy um, sharing these power C's of courage, connecting, and curiosity. So when we stay in these powerful C's of courage, connecting, and curiosity, that is a beautiful space to create and then to have all kinds of different spontaneous experiences. Some of it is totally synchronistic. Some of it is perfectly aligned. And then noticing in your body, how does your body feel? I can tell you today was so fun because I met so many people. My body felt really, really good. And what I mean by that is that while I was in all these experiences, I didn't notice anything that landed funny with me. I do, however, have a report. So when I got up, and I spoke at one, gave a little, you know, like, little, like, who's Susie Q? I noticed that I had some stuff in my lower back, you know? And so, and that was after um, I had a huge surge of energy sharing what I shared. Most of the time, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> but it went right into my root chakra. And so, you know, that is um, kind of this basic need, I think, of um, roof over your head, food to eat, and just feeling safe and secure. And it just was like a little bit putting me outside of my comfort zone a little bit. Even though I did a lot of um, public speaking and things like that, I did notice that I landed a little bit in that root chakra. So, But that's just something for me to notice. And, I, I, and as I sat down and I noticed how it started feeling, I just allowed it to have that experience of just something that landed at that root chakra. And I was fine with it, you know. But it's kind of fun because... You know, we also talked about when we get up and we start presenting and we start talking, there's always a moment of a little bit of being kind of nervous or scared or, you know, some apprehension maybe. And that's just part of it, you know. And what was fun was when I used to speak at um, Carmel Temple down in, in Houston, I do know that um, I, most of my information was channeled. And so I would always go with at least an opening song or an opening prayer. And then the rest of it was just whatever, and, you know, the spirit brought in um, to be shared. And so I still, you know, still go with that. But it's always, it is kind of scary right before I go up to speak. And I, I just noticed that. And I like the courage that I, that we all show up with when we're, you know, looking at, um, kind of sharing our, our truth with others. So anyway, that's my beautiful report today. And I just love all of you, all beings that are here and showing up in courage and connecting with those new people and old people, friends we've had. And then also staying in that space of curiosity. It's a beautiful place to be. So anyway, I just wish you the most beautiful night. <laughs> Keep smiling and just keep being who you are and show who you are. Be, be okay with that. People will love you for it. Totally love you for it. I do. Have a most beautiful night. May you be blessed. <laughs>